The Queen has not been making any public appearances this summer but Prince Charles was seen attending events in her place. It is expected the 96-year-old monarch is resting before appointing a new Prime Minister on Tuesday. On Sunday, Prince Charles attended the traditional church service at Cathy Kirk without the Queen. However, this week, the Queen will meet with the newly announced Prime Minister and will also hold a meeting with Boris Johnson, who will give Her Majesty his resignation. Prince Charles and the Queen are currently occupying Balmoral Castle in Aberdeenshire. Scotland. The Queen travelled to Scotland on July 21 for her traditional vacation but has missed a number of royal appointments over the summer. Last Friday Her Majesty missed the Bramer Gathering, a series of Highland Games that is reported to be one of her favourite events, as she is a patron of the event. In her absence, Prince Charles joined locals at the Games, however, the Queen has only missed the gathering five times before in her 70-year reign. A royal source said, the Queen's episodic mobility problems have meant her decision to miss the Bramer gathering has been taken for her comfort. Her Majesty will, naturally, be disappointed to miss out on the weekend's festivities, but will no doubt be supporting the competitors and organizers from home. The Queen is currently staying at the smaller Craig Owen Lodge on the Balmoral Castle grounds. The cottage has recently had a wheelchair friendly lift installed as well as a new security gate, intercom system, and CCTV cameras. As it has been alleged, the Queen may wish to spend more time in the Highlands. On August 8, the Queen's traditional welcoming ceremony to Balmoral Castle was cancelled and replaced with a small private event without the public and media. Her Majesty has also missed other events this summer, such as the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral and the Epsom Derby. Royal expert and biographer Robert Hardman has said the Queen is in very good spirits despite her lack of public appearances. He said, mobility is something of an issue now. Nothing medical, I'm told by those very close to her that she's in very good spirits, absolutely pin sharp as ever. But there is a mobility, issue, inevitably when you're coming up to your 96th birthday and also dignity, I think it's terribly important. She is the Queen, she wants to be seen as the Queen, she wants to look the part. This Monday, Britain's next Prime Minister will be announced as Conservative members have voted for a new leader after Boris Johnson's resignation. Either Foreign Secretary Liz Truss or the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak will be Mr Johnson's replacement. The Queen will not travel to London to appoint the new leader, instead, Her Majesty's 15th Prime Minister will travel to Scotland. This is a break away from tradition, as the last Prime Minister to be appointed outside of Buckingham Palace was more than a hundred years ago. In 1908, King Edward VII met with Herbert Henry Asquith in France to appoint the historic Prime Minister, 